Andrew Glennon and James are now living in a mansion far from Amber Portwood. Hello, my name is Eve, welcome to my VTM channel. This summer, Amber Portwood lost custody of her son after a lengthy and painful court battle. Between her history of domestic violence and her other child's disinterest in seeing her, one can see why. Andrew Glennon had explained his desire to move, with his son, to where he could find work. Now, he and little James have moved into his mother's $5 million mansion. The U.S. son got a hold of a new court filing related to Andrew Glennon, Amber Portwood, and James Glennon. We now have confirmation that Andrew and James are no longer in Indiana. They are no longer anywhere near Amber, in fact. They are in California. Andrew and James have moved in with Andrew's mom, but this is not a rock-bottom moment. Quite the opposite. They are now residing in Malibu, in Andrew's mother's $5 million estate. As Andrew and his mother had assured the court, James moving in with grandma will not keep him from having his own room. This summer, family court awarded sole custody of James, who is now four years old, to Andrew. The judge also granted Andrew's petition to relocate, with his son, to California. Andrew had explained that he was unable to find work near Amber's home, but already had job offers in California. So now, Andrew and James have made the more than 2,000-mile move. A California court now lists Andrew's new residence. If you like my videos, please like them and subscribe to my channel. It is not entirely clear what the court filing pertains to, however, but it lists Andrew as defendant. Perhaps we will learn more in the near future. We know a bit more about Andrew's new residence, which sits on three acres of land. That is a lot of property for a private residence just about anywhere. It is a sprawling acreage for Malibu. In addition to providing five bedrooms and plenty of room for little James, there is a pool, a spa, and a guest house. The guest house is occupied at the moment, but that's a good thing. Andrew's sister and her fiancé are residing there. This means that James will get to spend time around his aunt. That means more family support. Charmaine Wittes, Andrew's mother, actually testified in family court during the custody battle. She assured the judge that James would receive his own bedroom in her home if the court granted Andrew's petition. Four-year-olds are generally old enough, more than old enough, in most cases, for their own rooms. Obviously, there are more factors that determine the most suitable parent for a child than just money. In fact, beyond the ability to provide for a child's basic needs, it is arguably of least importance. But many Teen Mom fans are aware that Amber has demonstrated that she is unsuitable as a parent just as she is as a partner. Unfortunately, we have seen this happen more than once. Between the evidence that the court reviewed and Amber's own behavior at the hearings, family court sided with Andrew, 